Hey guys, how are you? Coming at you from vacation. You know what that means. It's time for Kelly to think and make videos. <laughs> we are staying in this beautiful villa in Tampa, Florida. Pool, four rooms, friends, family. It just really doesn't get any better than this. I am so blessed, so blessed, so blessed. And I just wanna take time to say thank you to all of you and I appreciate you and I love you. I know sometimes we're on the go, 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 go and we don't, we forget to stop and communicate and connect. I'm a work in progress on that one. So um, I just wanna take this time to say hello and that I appreciate you. Uh, there's been a lot, a lot on my heart and my mind for a while. And I've been wanting to do some videos because you all liked them last time I was on vacation. So I wanted to start doing them and I didn't. And now I'm going to try to start again and have the discipline to keep up with them. So keep me accountable. If you don't see any videos after this one, send me a message. Um, things that are going on. Let's see. I just want to let you know uh, a lot of you confide in me in your own personal information. And if my examples apply to you, it's not just you. There's multiple people that have come to me about the same thing. And um, I sat and thought about it and meditated on it and prayed about it and um, that's why I'm bringing it up. These lights always flicker. I don't know why. It's like this old Spanish villa or Italian. No, it's a Spanish villa kind of feel if you could see the walls. So like all this plaster and chandeliers and it's so cool. I love this place. It has so much character to it. Um, I just don't get this new thing that everyone's going through. We're all books, right? We're writing our own book. You see these memes all the time. I'm writing my book. I'm in my, you're your own novel. You're your own this, like books, books. Is this you? Is this your book? Is this your book? Book, book, book. I'm reading this one right now. I can't wait. What is the same thing that all of these have in common? Hmm? What is it? They all have chapters. Chapters. And all the chapters end to start a new chapter. Even a magazine. Article. Then it ends. Then there's a new article. Then there's an ad. Then it ends. Then there's another article. We read these all day long, but yeah, we don't we don't get the concept, right? Our life is a group of chapters to make a book. You just don't go on and on and on with the same story. There's a climax, it goes down, it builds up. Characters enter and leave. They leave. The plot sometimes, sometimes they die off, sometimes they leave, sometimes you just stop talking about them. Sometimes they turn into horrible people and you love them in the beginning. Or they're horrible people in the beginning and you love them at the end. We read about this stuff all day. Amazon started as a book company, didn't it? I mean, it's a multi-billion dollar business, the book industry. And yet in our lives, when people leave, when things don't work out, we're like beside ourselves. I'm just as guilty, I'm just saying. I'm just, you know, I'm not here to be a hypocrite and to talk about things that I struggle with and tell you that you shouldn't struggle with them. I'm trying to share what I see everyone struggling with, including myself. And this is a huge one. Um, divorce, man. Divorce lately? I can't tell you how many phone calls I'm on the other end of with a man or a woman leaving their spouse and they have kids 
and they have a house and they're worried about what people will think. Um, there's a lot to that just being a chapter in your life. There's a lot to um, learning from something, treating it as a lesson and moving on. Now I'm not married, so this is just something I'm talking about from experience of many, 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 many people around me who are going through marital struggles and divorce. Um, and I really feel strongly in this. I really feel that life is a book of chapters and some of them end and there is a lesson to be learned and they are to make us stronger and it is through a struggle, um, you know. There's talks about kids too. You know, everything happens for a reason, uh, to put it very generically, not go into um, beliefs and gods and upper higher powers and and all those wonderful things. But um, you know, who's to say that you and your spouse weren't to, weren't meant to be together to create that child? We are one in 400 trillion as in odds to be alive. Does that sound English? One in 400 trillion at odds. Our odds of being alive are one in 400 trillion. One in 400 trillion of a chance for you to be born to the people you were born with at the time and the place and the DNA that you have. That just blows, it blows my mind. It really does. Um, you know, and then with just... One in 400 trillion. So, when you think about your struggles and what you're going through, um, you know, I can't say what you're going through. I really don't know. Some of you are dealing with suicide. Some of you guys are dealing with sickness, some of you guys have children who are sick, some of you have children who have passed away, some of you are dealing with death in your family, some of you have lost your jobs, but you know, really just, just look at this concept, please just look at the concept and think about it. I really think you'll come out with something that'll help you. So, one in 400 trillion, don't you forget. In your chapter. Sometimes you need to move on. Close a chapter, start a new one. Especially if you're not happy with what's going on. You alone have the power to change your life. You, not me, not YouTube, not Facebook, not your friend down the street, not your parents. You are the only one that has the power to change your life. So... I don't know. I love you guys. I will talk to you soon because I will be back on Facebook with some more interesting factoids that I'm coming across. By the way, if anyone is living in Tampa, this chick got her dog stolen. <laughs> Poor little guy. His name is Leo. Leo. And... He lives near McElroy in West Shore. The girl at 7-Eleven insisted that I take this because they have a reward out for him. Apparently she looked out her window, a woman in an SUV got out, took the dog and left. Very sad. So if you are in the Florida area and you could find Leo, that would be great. If not, surround yourself, surround yourself with people that get it. Super important. Make this our decade. Seriously. We are all in this together, man. I'm going to make this decade amazing. And 2018 is going to be my year. So I hope it's going to be your year too. Let's do it. All right? I'll talk to you soon. Love you guys.